Welcome to Cricut Crafts by Jo. In today's video I'm going to show you how to etch glass. Glass etching is something that I've particularly enjoyed learning and doing over the last few weeks and for the amount of effort put in, um, which isn't really that much, it makes an absolutely stunning project and you can make some really effective and cool designs with it. So I'm going to show you how I do my etching. I don't um, confess to being any professional on it but this is how I've done it and it seems to work. I've tried it on quite a few different glass projects and also some mirrors which I'll post photos for you at the end of the video. So you'll need the following items. Something to protect your work surface. I usually just use some old cardboard something to protect your hands, so some rubber gloves or something like that, a brush or sponge dabber to put the etching cream on and then some etching cream. I use Armour Etch which I find to be absolutely amazing and then obviously your glass project. This pint glass I'm doing is for myself I've got a Yorkie, I absolutely love him, so I've decided to actually cut his paw print out on vinyl and then just a cartoon of a Yorkie that I found on Google Images. So I've cut this out on just some scraps of black vinyl that I had lying around, I think it's Defix that I got from Wilco's for about £5 a roll. So I cut that out on my Cricut Explore and just made sure that the glass was clean before I stuck it down onto the glass. Um, when sticking it down, just make sure that you pay particular attention to the edges of your image, so making sure that it's pressed down nice and firmly so the etching cream can't just work its way underneath. So whenever using etching, cream of any kind always make sure that you protect your hands so I'm just wearing some gloves here and I've got the glass and with a brush I got a set of three of these brushes for a pound from Hobbycraft they're quite nice the bristles on them they're quite thick and all I'm gonna do is literally work the cream over the image so when I'm doing this, I don't like to do it in the same direction, I like to change the direction up. This just ensures that the etching cream works all into the nooks and crannies of your vinyl to give a really crisp, clear coat. It's going to get quite boring for you if you just sit and watch me put the etching cream on. So I'm going to speed the video up but whilst I speed it up, I'm gonna carry on talking and giving you a few hints and tips. When I first started etching, I found that there were all sorts of varying times for how long people left the cream on, but I found that 15 minutes works perfectly for me. Now, during those 15 minutes, I don't just slather it all on and then time 15 minutes, I'll come back and play with it, move the cream around, um, add a little bit more. I tend to like to add cream so that you can't really see the image underneath. It's a solid um, block of white but that's just me. I just like to make sure that I've got everything covered and it looks even just to ensure that you've got a really smooth etching. A lot of people when I've shown them my etched makes have been quite careful or worried that they might scratch the image off but what etching cream actually does is it attacks and eats the very top layer of the glass or mirror so it's actually impossible to scratch it because it is just the top layer that's been removed not something additional onto the top of the surface if that makes sense. When around 15 minutes is up, all I then do is take my paintbrush and just scrape away all the excess cream and pop it back in the bottle. If 
you do get any etching cream on the glass, just use a wet wipe or a bit of wet kitchen roll to just wipe it off really quickly. And if you're quick, it shouldn't be a problem. All the excess, if you scrape it off and pop it back in the bottle, then you can reuse it again. There's no point in washing it away and losing it because you're just wasting valuable etching cream. After scraping all the excess cream off, all I then do is simply run it under the cold tap to wash off any cream residue that's left on. At this stage I leave my vinyl on still and I won't peel it off until it's completely wiped off. So this next bit I'll film from my mobile phone at the sink. from my kitchen sink and my horrible kitchen tiles. So all I'm using is the brush that I used earlier and literally just scrub and rub any of the etching cream and residue away. Now the first time I did this I washed it off and thought oh great it's not worked, it's not etched at all but I find that the temperature of the water affects how well the etching shows. So the colder the water, the more your etching pattern seems to disappear, particularly when wet. And once your glass is dried, your etching image will really come to life. As you can see here, it doesn't look like it's etched very well at all. Now we're back at my desk and the image has had a chance to dry a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and rip the vinyl off and you should hopefully see the etched image come to life. If you've got any sticky residue left behind from your vinyl then just give it a good old wipe. I use some glass cleaner and a bit of kitchen roll and this will just help make sure that any etching cream that was had perhaps worked its way into the vinyl is removed also. Now it's quite hard to show you the image um, on camera so I'm going to show you a few still photos at the end of the video but I hope you can see how easy etching is and how fun the project it is and yeah I just totally love etching and I'm going to hopefully make quite a lot more. So don't forget to tag me in any of your photos on Instagram and Facebook and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.